It has been speculated for the past few weeks on who would get the next sub-10 Minecraft speedrun, with the world record being 9 minutes and 8 seconds by Cube1337X, as well as Brentilda and Kiwiest Burb also having sub-10s, it wasn't sure as to who would be the next, with people like Crookst, Seven Rao and Feinberg constantly running the game, just itching for that sub-10 they deserved, coming close numerous times but falling just short to the Brentilda curse, and while it looked like it would be any day now before one of these runners was going to obtain it, it would be a bit of a surprise when in the early hours of February 9th, an almost completely unknown runner would jump on to People's Recommended with a 9 minute 59.9 second RSG speedrun. A new sub 10 finally submitted, but is it actually sub 10? This is the story of how an unknown speedrunner might have just barely gotten sub 10. The running question may not be the next sub 10, but of course, we won't know until the mods retime it. With the time being so uncomfortably close to sub 10, is anyone's guess as to if it will be or not? The runner behind the run is complex, and chances are you've never even heard of him, even with his former PB being an astonishing 12.15, putting him in the top 30 at the time, as well as a 201 in 1.17 set seed glitchless, and a total of 37 sub-15 speedruns, it doesn't at all help the fact on how much an underrated runner complex is, and despite this time most likely being a top 3 speedrun, I think we need to take a look at the run to just wrap our heads around how fast and well played this run actually is. So without further ado, let's get into it. Comprex spawns into the world next to a ruined portal with a village not too far away. After loading the portal chest, getting some pretty decent items with it, like an axe and some flint and steel, then heading over to the village which does contain a blacksmith. With an extra bit of luck on top of the already great seed Comprex has, he pulls, and I kid you not, 10 obsidian, 9 iron, 3 diamonds, food, and some armor. And after collecting wood and crafting up some tools, gathering some more essential items along the way, he used the 10 obsidian he obtained from the blacksmith to build his nether portal, entering at a super solid pace of 1 minute and 16 seconds, one of the fastest in a legit speedrun. And if there is even just a decent nether, this has possible world record potential, with whatever on the other side of the portal deciding the fate of the run. Complex uses a strategy known as E-Raying, which can help you determine if there is a bastion in your render distance or not, with the strategy being made by speedrunner and strategist K4, and ever since almost every single runner hopping on the train, dramatically improving times and run consistency. With Comprex quickly going in for this strategy, he sees a large spike in entities almost instantly upon loading into the nether, hinting that there is a bastion somewhere nearby, and after locating it and travelling over to it, he was entering into a housing type bastion. Upon entry, Comprex used the bastion route known as Manhunt. This route consists of breaking the central chest in the bastion, aggroing all nearby piglins and running over to the double chest, which nearby being a ton of gold blocks that you can supply to your piglins, which they will cycle through and if you are lucky enough, you'll get all the trades you need. So this is exactly what Complex does, luring all his piglins over to the gold and trading with them and his trades were pretty perfect too, obtaining all the pearls, string, and fire resistance he needed, but being slightly sure on obsidian, deciding to loot the top chest in the bastion, and lucky enough for him, pulling the remaining obsidian, and now having 100% of items he needs. He was out at under four minutes, playing it almost perfectly up to this point, and with only two pearl throws later, Not even Cube's world record was within a minute of this time, entering at 5.15 and Complex at 3.50. Could this be where we see the first sub 9, if not sub 8? It's hard to say at this point in the run, still being early into the run, and there's so much that can happen between now and the dragon's death to change that, so let's continue on with the breakdown. 
After entering into the fortress, Comprex immediately located and navigated over to a blaze spawner. With only getting one spawn from there, he scouted out a second spawner, which he would continue to fight blazes at, getting completely rolled from the blazes coming from the spawner, with a nearby group of strays making up for that, and his final drop rate being 7 for 12, he was ready to exit the nether, pulling out his obsidian and building his portal, preparing for the final few minutes of the run. Complex is back in the overworld at 610 and he's going to use a strategy to help him locate the exact location of the stronghold, Perfect Travel, and if you haven't heard of it before then I'm here to help, with the original concept being by Matthew Bolin who you might remember from him also being the reason behind Divine Travel, the strategy used in Bruntilda's world record. Runners are able to use this new strategy by going into the corner of a chunk and using as perfect of precision as you can. You can find the stronghold by using just one eye, while in this case Complex used two, one eye is definitely viable, and I'm not going to explain it all right now, but basically all you need to know is that Complex is trying to calculate where the stronghold is by using the little box you see on the right of the screen known as the Ninja Brain Bot. And if you want to learn how to use this, I'll leave some links in the description to the original creators of the strategy, since they go through step by step with simple instructions on how to use this bot. After Complex uses the bot and does everything he needs, the bot tells him that there is 100% certainty of where the stronghold is, and not only where it is, but some perfect coordinates of where he can build a second portal to travel directly into the stronghold, Complex doing exactly that and heading over to the coordinates the Ninja Brain bot has provided for him. And with some super fast bridging over a large lava lake, as well as a quick pearl throw later, he was in the location he needed building his second portal. And while Complex may be in the stronghold, that doesn't mean it's certain that he's gonna enter the end. Just remember, Complex threw an ender pearl to arrive at his portal location faster, and with him having 12 pearls at the time, he has to bank on having a one eye, and with some pretty good odds of that happening on his side, there is still the slight chance of him not getting the luck required. Either way, Complex continued on navigating around the stronghold, searching around for the portal room to which he ended up doing, with it all coming down to here, and with enough luck on his side. Complex was in the end, with it all coming down to the wire, and with all the explosives ready to go in his hands, three beds and one anchor being a comfortable amount for a runner like Complex, he gets almost an instant dragon perch, coming in close, getting ready for the one cycle, and beating the game sub 10 minutes. So that's it, an unknown runner gets sub 10, becomes third in the world to do so, and coming almost as close as he possibly can to getting a sub 10. Well, that's not exactly the end of it. With the legalization of the Ninja Brain Bot, it's definitely a win-lose situation when you use it. With the changes in pausing rules months back when Bruntilda set the record, certain pauses were allowed and certain pauses weren't, and with all pauses technically being allowed, with the ones that are marked ineligible will just be added back to the final time of the run. With pauses using the Ninja Brain Bot not being allowed, they will end up being added to the final time and with the speedrun timer not knowing which pauses were allowed or not, it didn't account for the times added back to the run and with some retiming it looks like that Complex's 9.59.9 .9 will be around more like a 10.02, ever so slightly faster than Molly G's 10.02 but falling just short from that sub 10 and if Complex were to have not crafted that last Eye of Ender, he would have possibly just set the next sub-10 speedrun. That's not to say the run isn't fantastic, with pretty perfect gameplay and playing to the best of the ability, Complex could, in the moment, 
he pulled off this incredible 10 minute and 2 second speed run with a long list of top times learning every strategy there is to learn and executing them during real runs, it's not long until you will get the sub 10 you deserve complex, and while it may not be the sub 10 you've been working hard for, it's definitely still something special. And with that, I would like to give a huge congratulations to Comprex. There's not many more deserving runners than you. And if you haven't subscribed to Comprex already, make sure you do. And now, I would like to thank you all for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.